20 foot snake right there, guys. That is a big snake. And everyone that comes to visit always says that. Like, I thought she was big until I came to see her and she's a lot bigger than I even expected. Woo! Bringing me and Bruce together, that's for sure. That's, that's a good girl. Whoa! Oh! Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog and I know you guys love when I start the vlog going inside Lucy's cage and that's right She uh, shed she pooped uh, she pretty much did a number on her cage But we're gonna go inside and we're gonna say hi to miss Lucy. Hi little girl. Hi, sweetheart How are you doing today? You in a good mood? Yes, yes, my girl is she's continuing to stay in a good mood which makes my life so much easier That's for sure because she is definitely a big girl. Don't you go in that poopy water? Don't do it. Just gonna kind of slowly work her. Oh, she's just got a little bit of stuck shed on her. So we're gonna go ahead and put her in some water in a second here, and then we'll get her cage all spiffied up. But in the meantime, me and Bruce are just gonna take her out and see what she's got going on. That's a 20 foot snake right there, guys. That is a big snake. And everyone that comes to visit always says that. Like, I thought she was big until I came to see her, and she's a lot bigger than I even expected. Woo! Bringing me and Bruce together, that's for sure. That's a, that's a good girl. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, she's, she's pulling us around like me. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go, Lucy. I mean, what a, it's, I tell you what, I love this snake so much. And I love the fact that now I can handle her without any trepidation about getting bitten, which is just absolutely incredible. But I tell you what, that is a heavy snake. Doing a couple squats right now would probably be a good way to do some workout. Ready? Uh, one, Parallel. Uh, two, three, okay, I'm done. All right, Lucy, you won, you won. <laughs> I tell you what, it's hard to even explain how heavy that snake is. And I know she would love to get in the water. We'll do some more swimming with stuff pretty soon with her. But right now, I'm gonna put her in this water and we'll get her cage all cleaned up. There you go, sweetheart. Again, she loves water. So she usually goes in here like a champ. Look at her, he's just curling right up. What a good girl. Oh my gosh, girl, you are amazing. I am so lucky and so blessed to have a snake like this. She might be a handful at times, but when she's lovely and has this personality like she has lately, it is the most incredible experience ever. All right, we'll let her soak for a little bit, get her cage cleaned up, get her back in, and my bet is she's gonna climb right up into that tree. There's absolutely no easy way to kind of candy coat this. This is definitely poop soup right here. Tons of poop, urine, shed, it's smell, it's stinky. So what I'm gonna have to do is get my strainer, strain all of this out. We're gonna vacuum all this up, kind of just re-spot clean this, add down some new bedding. We'll vacuum all this spare shed skin all over the place, but by far the nastiest and may I say aromic uh, is right here. This is unbelievable. Whew, I tell you what, we should do a contest. Anyone that would take a, a spoon and, no, I won't do that, guys. Let's just go ahead and clean this mess up. So how do you feel right now, Brock? No, I shouldn't have ate that waffle this morning. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> guys, that is, uh, she's, she's made a mess a few times. That is absolutely the worst thing, and the smell is beyond belief. I am not even kidding you. I can handle a lot. Whew. The worst part is there's nothing I can do but go in here and get my hands dirty to get this thing cleaned up. So, oh my goodness. Yeah, they said it was gonna be fun working with animals, you know? <laughs> the truth is, you know what? As much as it's terrible and it legitimately stinks, I still wouldn't trade this life for anything. I'll be honest with you. I know it seems really bizarre, but I'm actually having a pretty good time. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love Lucy and if I have to do this every now and then, that's fine. And there goes the nasty smell. Woo -hoo! That's a good one. Ooh. I challenge you guys, if you want to comment down below, if you want to do this, if you come in here and clean this one time when it's this bad and you don't throw up, I'll give you like $100 worth of merch. So comment down below if you want to do this and I'll pick some people that are in the area and make you guys do this. And I, I'll bet you dollars to donuts, you'll be yakking by the end. <laughs> this is 32 years of experience to not throw up. So, okay, I got some cleaning to do. All 
car cleaned up. I'm gonna smell that for a while, guys. But let's go ahead and check on Lucy, see how she's faring. She looks absolutely gorgeous. And again, just that little bit of a soak is gonna be enough to get that little bit of skin off that she has on here. We'll just kind of help her get it off. There you go, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. She loves the water so much, she almost hates to come out. You can see how she really just prefers to stay in the water. She doesn't even want to come out. That's okay, sweetheart. There you go. There it comes off real good. All right, she's got all that shed off. She is looking gorgeous. I think we'll go ahead and probably feed her tomorrow. She's probably going to be really hungry. She's got a ferocious appetite right now. And uh, she's definitely going to want to eat, but she looks so incredible. I love this girl. And again, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking like, that's nothing like the Lucy I remember. I know you guys love it when I'm battling with her. She's striking at me. Don't get me wrong, that's, it's an exciting thing. But as I mentioned, she's gonna go right back up in that tree. I actually love her when she's like this, when she's like a puppy dog and I can just play with her. Cause that's what I really wanna do. I don't wanna get bit by her, I wanna play with her. So I tell her guys, I could start every day of my life like this. That was stinky, but absolutely incredible. This is just a pastel bread to a fire bee. The fire bee is a pastel, a fire, and a spider. Uh, nothing really overwhelmingly crazy in this clutch, to be honest with you. Looks like we have a nice little fire bee right here. Another probably just bumblebee right here, which is fine. Uh, the weird thing is we didn't really get any super pastel stuff, with the exception, of, I think this one might just be a normal super pastel, but we didn't get super pastel fire stuff. It's as far as fires go, we ended up getting a little fire right here, and then we ended up getting a couple fireflies, which are actually the pastel and the fire animals, which are really pretty. But we didn't get anything super pastel and fire, which was a little bit of a disappointment, but nevertheless, some really beautiful snakes still hatched out. This was actually a dragonfly, which is a pastel fire pinstripe bred to a flame. Now, usually the flame and the fire are the same, and they'll produce black-eyed lucies, but we got a couple interesting combos that I'm a little bit unsure of what's going on. Of course, the first one here is just a fire pinstripe pretty classic fire pinstripe nothing unusual there then we got a couple dragonflies right here which again are the pastel the fire and the pinstripe and uh, here's another one of those again that's stuff that you would expect to get out of something like this I did get a couple actual flame or fireball pythons again typically I've always thought that the flame and the fire was the same I still think it probably is but then I got a normal pinstripe again that's all normal but then this hatched and I absolutely am not sure what's going on with this animal right here because to me it looks like a super pastel fire pinstripe, maybe, possibly. The problem was the flame wasn't a pastel, so you have to have pastel on both sides to get the super pastel. So in the meantime, I've got this mystery snake here. I have no idea what it's about, but uh, nevertheless, it is super cool. Oh my gosh, take a look at these. These are so cute. Of course, these are some more baby cave geckos, the Chinese cave geckos that hatch. And we work with a couple different species but it is so awesome to see these little monkeys out. Jessica's gonna be super happy too because she really loves working with this particular species of animal. Such a cool little thing. A little smaller than a baby leopard gecko, but absolutely adorable. Down in the dungeon with Kelsey. Hey Kelsey, what do we have today? Uh, we have a pin spark bred to a fire yellow belly. Ooh, oh my gosh. You know, that pin spark is a lelic for yellow belly that produces the puma stuff. So that fire yellow belly, of course, is fire and spark. We could produce fire puma pin stripes, which would be amazing. Let's see what she has. And I love this girl. She's, she took, I think, last year off of laying. So let's see. I mean, just look how beautiful that animal is right there. And oh my gosh. That is a freaking huge clutch of eggs right there. That's a good clutch. Oh, yeah, just a little. Holy cow, Kelsey. Whew. Way to kind of end the year off with a couple of bangers. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this. Wow. There we go. Now that's good. And again, that's uh, that Puma is a one in four shot with yellow belly. So the fact that we have all kinds of eggs, that really increases the chance of producing that all gene animal. How many eggs are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11. 11 eggs. So 11 eggs. That's that's a pretty good one. Do we have another clutch today? Yes, we do. All right, let's get onto that. That's awesome. And the next clutch? Next clutch is a normal female bred to a cinnamon cypress. Okay, and that's Sydney cypress. We've already hatched out a couple clutches, some amazingly beautiful babies. So let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. Not that many clutches left. So uh, oh, looks like we got some sluggers down here. We got a little boob egg right there. Let's see if mama has some good eggs underneath her. What do you got, girl? 
Oh, how <laughs> huge that egg is. That is a big <laughs> egg, but it's definitely not an extremely uh, great clutch to say the least. So it uh, looks like we just got two good eggs. We got two, four, six slugs. Isn't it weird? I always say that towards the end of the year, you start to have fertility issues, but we had that beautiful clutch from the Pin Spark, 100% fertile. Then you have a clutch like this that's like 70% infertile. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but regardless, it does happen. That's part of breeding snakes. Overall, we had amazing fertility this year, and uh, we still do have a few more clutches of ball pythons to be laid this year. Uh, I'll take every single clutch because that's been an amazing year because Kelsey worked so hard. Good job. Thank you. Got some ball python eggs to cut today. This one is actually uh, a few babies have already hatched out, which are of course just normal enchies, but this was actually an enchi pin. One of my favorite female ball pythons I have to be honest with you. And it actually was bred to a pastel enchi banana. So we could get some super enchies, enchies, banana pins, enchi pins, super enchi banana pins, all kinds of stuff. Let's just jump in. And a lot of these eggs have already pipped out so they are definitely ready to go so i'm excited to see what we have in these clutches the first little egg right over here looks to me like maybe a banana but it could be an enchi banana but i'm not 100 sure i'm kind of surprised that it might just be a normal banana this little guy's head is kind of peeking out so i'm just going to cut right around it see what we have in this egg let's see here oh looks like okay Looks like this is probably a super enchi ball python. Just really bright. The enchi is like an enhancer gene. It kind of reduces pattern, brightens things up. That's a beautiful snake right there. Probably just a super enchi. Let's go ahead and cut this egg here. And again, these guys are ready to go. Okay, well, we definitely have an enchi banana pinstripe. Could be a super enchi banana pinstripe. As a matter of fact, the more I look at it, the reduction, the pattern, stuff like that, I'm almost positive that's a super enchi banana pinstripe, which is the all gene animal. That's as much as we could possibly get. So at least we hit one, that is pretty awesome. Uh, this little egg is already hatched out. One of these guys over here. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to this egg and see what we have. Oh my gosh, this gosh, sometimes these egg tooth, they just rip into this stuff like you can't believe. Okay, this looks like just an enchi pinstripe right here which is pretty normal no problem I haven't had a lot of banana stuff yet that was kind of a little bit interesting but it's okay what do we have in this egg here all right looks like another enchi pinstripe so we're not really crushing the odds but we're getting some stuff what do we have here definitely another banana this one looks like just an enchi banana pinstripe right here because again you don't have that extreme reduction of pattern like we saw in that other egg that of course was the super enchi all right we've got two eggs left in this clutch Let's see what we have here all right well we got a banana for sure just gotta open up just a little bit to see what's going on. I have a feeling that this is either, this is definitely either an enchi banana or a super enchi banana. And by the color reduction of pattern, I think there's a good chance it's a super enchi banana. Until it hatches out, we're really not sure. One last egg in this clutch. Looks like it's a pinstripe for sure. And what is it? It's an enchi pin. Doesn't look like a super enchi pin. So there you have it. You know, kind of a mixed bag. We had some really cool stuff, some kind of more normally stuff, but nevertheless, a really awesome clutch of snakes. I'm super happy about this baby and that super enchi banana pin. That's going to be a ripper. Every day you can start the day handling a 20 foot python like Lucy is a great day, even if it is a little bit stinky. If you enjoyed that video, here's another video when Lucy wasn't quite as happy. Here's an entire playlist of giant snakes. And if you don't mind, Make sure to subscribe right over here, turn those post notifications on, be kind of so on, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.